Now let us see how we calculate the natural growth rate of a population. The natural growth rate deals with uh, the debt and the birth. We we'll have to look at the number of births, the number of debts. How do you calculate the birth rate? How do you calculate the uh, death rate? Because these are things that are not children. At a time, there must be newborns. At a time, people must die. So let's see how we calculate it. Now, when we're talking about the natural growth of a population, like what we see here, we are told that is the difference between the birth rate and the death rate. That is what we have here. You have natural growth of population is the difference between the birth and the death. So how do we arrive at this? To so calculate the first, the crude death rate. When you are calculating the crude, the crude there here is vital. It means all every person that they irrespective of the age irrespective of the age you are putting all the deaths whether a child that is born today will stay in one minute and die and somebody that died at 100 plus we are combining all of them together so to get that we have a formula you have cdt over dt over pt times 1000 times 1000 here 1000 again is vital in this formula it is taking that you have a peg of 1000 population so we are what uh, CDT represents the crude death rate in year T. Year T could be any year. Maybe in year 2010 or 2015 or 2018. That is what it represents. Now, here you have the PT, average population, in year T. The average population is normally calculated at the mid year. That is when you calculate the, the population, the average population in a year. You don't wait till the end of the year. You don't do it at the beginning of the year. You do it at mid-year. Now, you have here DT, which is the DT in total debt in year T, which I've already explained, irrespective of the age. We are looking at the total number that died. Now, let's look at an example here. If population is 2 million in year T and the debt is 20,000 in that same year, what is the crude death rate? To get the crude death rate, we just substitute into the formula, which will now be, remember that the DT here is the number of deaths, so that is 20,000 over 2 million times 1,000. And when you do that, that will give us 10 per thousand. 10 per thousand. If you look at, you see 200 zero zero here, it's not a percentage, it's per thousand. That means 10 deaths per thousand. In every 1,000, you have 10 persons that will die. That is what it means. Now, now let's solve this quickly. I want you to look at this. Take your pen and paper, quickly work on this. Now solve this. If population of a country is in 2017 was 6,500,000 6, with 30,000 deaths in, year, in the year, how many deaths were recorded per 1,000? What is the application of the answer in planning? So quickly work on this. I'm giving you um, two minutes. Quickly do it and come up with your answer. Remember, the total number of population is 6,500,000 and the total number of deaths is 30,000. So substitute it into the formula that has been given. Look at the formula. The formula is here. Remember the total number of deaths over the total population that is 1,000. So what is your answer? Let's look at it and cross-check. So right here you have 30,000 over 6,500 times 1,000. So that will give you 5 per 1,000. That means 5 deaths per 1,000. What does that imply? If you have 5 deaths per 1,000, and right here is a crude death rate. It means the death rate is not really, really that very high. It means you will have enough population to still take care of. Now let us look at the crude birth rate. How do we calculate the crude birth rate? This is the formula, crude birth rate, number of birth over estimated population at mid years time 1000. Remember, I've already explained this. This mid year is very vital. This mid year is very vital. You know, I mentioned it earlier on. When you are calculating the crude birth rates, the average is usually taken at the mid year, not at the beginning and not at the end. Now, let us look at the formula. We have translated this into for PT, BT over PT times 1000. So let's see what happens. You have BT live birth in year T. This is the, represented the live birth in year T. P 
PT is represented the average in year T. And here, let's find what example we have. If population is 1 million, and the total number of beds is 55. You know, we still use 1 million in the other example. So if the total number of beds is 55, what will be the crude bed rate? To get the crude bed rate, that will be 55 over 1 million times 1,000. And that will give us 55 per 1,000. That means you have 55 new beds per 1,000. In every 1,000 population, 55 new babies are born. So what does that imply? It means you will have high population. And when you have high population, you will have high demand for education. You will need to spend more money on education. Now let's quickly look at this. Now we have no the birth rate, uh, the birth, crude birth rate. We have no the crude death rate. So what do you need to do? Remember, the crude birth rate is 55 per thousand and the crude death rate was 10 percent per thousand in the first example we worked on and if you minus this from this that will give you 45 percent that means you are removing the number of deaths from the number of deaths we have but if the, if the opposite if the number of uh death is higher uh it means their population is going into extinction now right here if you look at the second example we have 55 and five percent uh, sorry five per thousand so if you remove 55 remove five per thousand from 55 per thousand that will give you 50 per thousand that means you have 50 per 1000 this one you can translate it into percentage because it's always easier to interpret in percentages so right here we have natural growth rate equals to 45 over 1000 times 100. Remember, this 00, zero represents 1,000, zero, zero. So that will give you 4.5. So the first one here, this first one here is giving us 4.5. And if you do the same to the second one, you have 55, and it gives you 50 per thousand. 50 per thousand times that will give you 5%. So what is the implication of this? Let's take the first example. If you have 4.5 and you have 5%, it means that is the growth rate. That is the rate at which your, the population of that particular country is growing. At 5%, it's quite high. And you need to watch out so that you'll be able to cope with all the educational things. So we'll stop in here till the next video.